on your cassette player and put on headphones and press play. This might get a little weird, but follow my lead. Um... She's not kidding, it did indeed get a little weird. Hello, Shook and Scroll here, and welcome back to another episode of One Hour In. Today we're playing Cassette Beasts, which is a role playing game. Uh, it seems to be similar to like sort of Pokemon. Uh, I've read a quick description. We seem to record, not sure how that works, but we record beasts and then we can sort of bring them into battle. And um, yeah, it's turn based action RPG, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it looks really sweet. Um, loving the art thus far. And uh, yeah, we'll get into this. As always, we've got the one hour timer once the game gets started. Um, oh, now rides this knight through the realm into the wilderness of Wirral. Few there thereabouts that either God or other with good heart loved. Okay, 14th century. I was like, why do I not understand that? It's because it's um, old, oldie, oldie words. Oh, okay. Uh, your name is Cass. No, it is not. My name is Squirrel. Why does it not come up super early? Like, Why do I have to put those many letters in first? My pronouns are he and him. My favorite color is orange. Uh, yeah, that's the best orange. My skin color is we'll we'll we'll, we'll go for, we'll go for that. Uh, my hairstyle. I mean, I've got long hair. Where, where's where's my long hair? I don't I don't have a cat headband though. Oh my god, so many options. Oh my god, so many options. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go for that. That looks cool. I like that. That's that's close enough. My hair color is none of those things. My hair color is boring. Oh man, they look like interesting. They don't have like black. Like I've really dark brown hair, but. That's, that, that doesn't, that does, I guess that's probably the best. That's probably the best. My hair accessory, I, I don't have one. So we will leave that at that. We'll leave it as orange because obviously that's my favorite color. So we know. I do not have glasses or half face or a mask or a visor or grumpy. I do have a beard, but yeah, I guess I'll go for it. Yeah, why not? I love a beard. Yeah, why not? My color, does it really matter? We will set it to that. Um, I don't have a face accessory, I'm afraid. Okay, that that's us. <laughs> that is a <laughs> that is that is a that's a character. That is uh, I'll I'll accept that. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? I don't know. I haven't started the time yet because I don't think the game's started proper. Bowing to Her Majesty Queen Y X Queen E X Queen E X. Raising the pawn dead. Cooking in the cauldron. Right, okay, so it's going to have lots of funny little pun names. I see where this is going. Repairing Squirry's spear? Squirry's spear. Snooping on snooping. <laughs> right, start the timer. Um. Oh, wow, this does feel very Pokemon-y, doesn't it? Look at this. I've not actually played any of the new Pokemon games where it's like a 2D, 3D uh, thing. Okay, so we can dash twice. No, oh yeah, you can, yeah. And then jump. Right. I love how I'm just going nowhere that I should be going. Oh, Jesus, hello. Hey. Hi, stranger. Oh, I, <laughs> I read her name for some reason, stranger, so I just said hi, stranger. But no, she's saying, hey, stranger. Hey, stranger, don't make any sun moves. Traffic crabs, very good name. Don't take kindly to strangers, or anyone for that matter. Here, take this. Okay, thank you for the the Walkman. Um. Okay, quick question, what's your aesthetic? Oh, okay. I guess out of those two probably spooky? I don't know. I, uh, yeah, I'm going to go for Spooky. Yeah, I can see that. In that case, take this. A ban sheep. Ah, so it's our starter Pokemon we were deciding. Uh, the eerie moans of the wild ban sheep at night have led many to believe that they're restless undead spirits. But this is untrue. They are very much alive. They just don't uh, like to have a bit of a whine. Do who doesn't? Raise this monster's tape to five stars to unlock more information. Oh, that's really cool. Location, habitat unknown, bootlegs. I like bootleg tapes. That's cool. oh, man. I, I'm liking the theme of this already. There's 120. It's more than the uh, than Pokemon had started with. 
All right, now just pop that in your cassette player and put on headphones and press play. <laughs> this might get a little weird, but follow my lead. All right, I really dig my character right now. Um, she's not kidding. It did indeed get a little weird. <laughs> your turn. Don't be shy. I am now a sheep. Just breathe. You'll adjust in just a moment. Right. Right. Let's give them hell. Uh, oh, this is cool. Can I record? I've got no blank tapes. Right, okay, cool. So let's play like Pokeballs. That makes sense. Uh, I guess I will... The user's evasion is passively raised in proportion to the amount of HP loss. Okay, that's kind of cool. Right, we're going to smack him. Smack him. Oh, I get to choose her as well? Okay. Um, chance to summon a temporary ally. Uh, no, I'll just hit them. That seems the easiest one. Schmack. Oh, that's it. Did it straight away. And we leveled up Bansheep. Battering Ram. Melee attack. Hits one target, loads the target's accuracy. Very nice. And we got some plastic, apparently. You handled yourself pretty well there. I mean, I just chose one's uh, attack move, but okay. Uh, what's your name? Uh, I'm Kaylee. Nice to make your acquaintance, squirrel. Anyway, we should probably get you warmed up before you freeze to death in your pajamas. Why did I just arrive in the ocean? Is that another thing that anyone's going to explain? Are we in a video game? I guess that would make sense. God, it's a long walk. What do you think? Pretty quaint, right? Uh, where, where am I? Welcome to Harbour Town. <laughs> uh, your new home. My new home? Uh, right, yeah, sorry. I'm not very good at this part. I don't know how best to break the news. You're stuck here. We all are. Uh, my head is spinning. No, that's your whole body. Oh, and then we okay, we collapsed. Okay. Wonderful. Ah, wonderful. You're awake. Kaylee gave me quite a fright when she came knocking at my door. <sighs> you had me scared for a moment, squirrel. I don't think it's anything serious. Transforming for the first time is quite a shock to the psyche. Anyway, Harbour Town happened to have a spare home available for you, so this is your place now. Wow, this is a very welcoming community. Where on earth is this place? On earth? Kaylee, you haven't told him? Sorry, I should have. Not to info dump on you, but you're on an island called New Wirral. It's not strictly on earth, at least that's what we think. Is there a way back home? Not. I'm afraid not, Squirrel. I'm so sorry. Castaways have been trying to get back to their wards for a century, and none have succeeded. <laughs> but but you, you'll be okay. This community is Harbour Town, and we help each other out. It's not a bad life, and it's safe. Well, apart from the monsters. Um, like with the cassette player. Yeah, I'm actually going on patrol soon. If you'd like to join me, meet me by the gate. The one just over the bridge we crossed in the coming to town. In the meantime, feel free to say hi to your neighbours. I'm pretty sure word has gotten around that there's a new lad in town. Uh, we also fetch some clothes for you, though they might be a bit out of fashion for your era, but it's all we have. My era? Sorry, sorry, more info, Duff and Ping. I'll catch you soon, right? We can talk more then, if you'd like. My clinic is nearby. If you need a checkup, feel free to visit. Uh, this all must be a lot to take in, but we all went through the same thing once. Okay. New quest. This is the world we live in. Uh, speak to Kelly at Harbour Town's entrance. Okay. We've got a ranger handbook. A handbook that Kelly left for you. You can read this to review what you've learnt. Okay. Can I interact? Oh, that's just to change all my stuff. Wow, and I can change my top now. Haha, I can change my clothes. Uh. Okay. <laughs> there are a lot of options. I'm just going for a t-shirt. Uh, I want an orange t-shirt. Yeah! And we will go for... What colour do you think would be best? Black probably would be a good colour, but it doesn't look like that's an option. Why they, what have they got against black? What's that all about? Maybe we go for a light blue? Yeah, that's okay. Uh, trousers. Short skirt. Trousers. Okay, yeah, we'll go for trousers. I need something dark on these, ideally. I could go for blue. Yeah, actually, you know what? That's not terrible. And then, I love how I've spent so much time customising my character. It's not necessary, but I'm, I'm doing it anyway. Why do they not have, like, dark colours? That's weird. It's weird that they don't. Cool. Done. Look at that. That's alright. 
Anything in there? Nope. Mailbox? There's a letter in the box. How strange. That is indoors when nobody can deliver letters. Check it anyway. Yes. It's all connect to the internet. Uh, oh, I need a code. I don't have a code. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what's that? I can... <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. Let's get out of here. Oh, wow. We did get a nice house, didn't we? Am I going to talk to the neighbours? No, I'm not going to talk to neighbours. I don't care. I've got to catch them all. I've got to tape them all. I've got to bootleg them all. There she is with a little beret. Hey. Hey again, squirrel. Are you feeling a little better? You know, you held your own uh, last time we fought together. So, we're, well, I've given been given an errand and it needs help in hand. Do you think you'll be able to help me out? Uh, errand? Uh, I'll explain in just a moment. Do you see that path there? Uh, there's some kind of quake or monster activity last night. You can see the cracks in the ground. Uh, we're going to check the path and make sure it's safe for crossing. Okay. Here, take the key to the gate. Nice, thank you. Um. Oh, X to do it. Oh, that's kind of cool, they had physics. That is quite cool. Um. Right, uh, there's some basics I've got to show you first. I hope you're ready to turn into a monster again. I guess so. <laughs> You'll adjust in no time. It's like riding a bike, except, you know, if the bike transformed into a moody floating sheep. Um, also, there's no bike. You see that creep with the boots? It's a spring heel, and it's going to get aggressive if you get any closer. So you're going to get closer, of course. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at him. Look at him turn at me. I like his little bat wings. I am a sheep. Okay, let's fight. Uh, tutorial action points. Pay attention to these orange squares. They are your action points or AP for short. Uh, most moves require you to spend some AP. The amount of AP a move costs is shown next to its name. If you don't have enough AP, you won't be able to use it this turn. Makes sense. Each party member gets two AP each turn, an extra one if they land a type advantage attack. Okay. Uh, you can now plan ahead and save up AP for your most powerful attacks. Okay. Um, yeah, I just got smacks. So a smack requires no AP. Um, call for help. Uh, no, we'll just whack him twice, I guess. Oh, he got to smack first. You've taken a bit of a beating, but your, monster, but your monster form can take it. The green bar represents your monster's form health, and the red is yours. The form loses all its health in a fight. Its tape will break and need repairing. Not only that, but any extra damage from the attack that broke it will apply to your health, the red bar. Oh, okay. If both of us lose all our health, then we'll have to retreat back to Harptown. Got that? Yes. Right, let's crack on. Okay, that's a cool concept. I like, I like how that works. Nice. All right, now I can use my battering ram. And we'll use her to just hit, because she seems to be like more of a support role. Bonk. Accuracy down, and also he's down. The battle's won, fantastic. We leveled up. Uh, she unlocked Sonic Boon and some other items, very nice. Yeah. Nice work. Hmm, that elevator should be functioning. There's a switch around here to turn it back on. Uh, in here? Oh, that's kind of cool. Hey. Great. Let's head up on uh, uh, head on up, shall we? I'll uh, let you take the lead for any more fights, but don't worry, I'll be sticking with you from here on out. Unlocked Kaylee. Kaylee is now your partner. And I've, and she's been using Serenade. Serenades. Serenades are particularly loud creatures and can amplify their own singing voices through their microphone tail and wings. They don't seem to have much awareness as to whether or not their singing is too loud to those around them. Okay. And we've updated the, that. Cool. I'm really liking this so far. Let's get on this bad boy. Oh, some traffic crabs. You d uh, do you need a break, squirrel? We can rest if you'd like. Uh, these bonfire pits mark areas you're safe to set up camp. Um, it's to give you a chance to repair your tapes and heal up. Okay, so we don't need to take them to a poke center. Um, X to camp, yes. Oh, that's nice. Oh, but it costs resources. So, no, we've got no tapes or inventory. Uh, basic recycle resource that can be exchanged for items and services. Uh, turned into food. Item services, a basic recycle resource that can be exchanged for item services. Okay, that's, that's basically all they've got. Fantastic. We can't rest though, that's expensive. Four wood. Oh, the traffic cabs are gone though. 
I wanted the traffic cabs. Crabs. Um, there's a person up here. What are you doing? Uh, there'll be more monsters about, but we can take them. Hello? I haven't seen you before. Let me guess. You washed up pretty recently, didn't you? Oh, is that a cassette player holding? Here, take these. Rewind. Flu resource HP of one tape uses... Oh, that's so funny. Ah, oh, I love the theme they've gone for. It's such a unique... Is it, is it really interesting concept? I like it. Come on, you stupid bat. Let's bring it. Oh, there's two, though. Oh, I wasn't prepared for that. Right. I still can't use any of these openers. Right, the traffic crab was easier last time, so let's go for the traffic crab, and then I'll have her do spit on Spring Hill. And this might have been the wrong plan. Yes, it was the wrong plan. All right, life goes on. Still don't think we'd have killed the traffic crab, but yeah, that's, that could have been better. Um, I guess we'll just get you. And then we'll Sonic Boom. Hits whole team. Oh, very nice. Okay, at least he's sharing out the love. Flinched. Oh, no. A character that flinches skips its next turn. Damn it. Well, I'm counting on you. <gasps> no. Oh, this has gone bad very quickly. Speed down. That's great. What a great ability. Oh, it affects everyone, though. That's kind of cool. All right, let's try that again on the spring tail, spring heel. Sonic Boom, come on, let's try it again. Accuracy down, that's not good for us. Right, he's gone though. Nice! Okay, we did get them. Okay, so two stars now on um, the Van Sheep. Sharpen uh, raises users, they use melee attack. Okay. Oh, come on this way. Um, did you just fly? Right, you want me to go that way? Okay. It's a bit weird though. You, you took off, you flew. Maybe we're going over here to this weird wind. I saw that coming. Come on this way. I, I would love to, but... Okay, all right. What? Why don't you direct me? If there's a particular way to go, why don't you tutorialize me in that direction? This is weird. Right, let's go with the traffic crabs. Mm. Uh, there, do you see that monster? There must be a way to get to it. Come over here. Okay, well, we're going to fight these traffic crabs first. Right, sharpen. Razor the user's melee attack. I just don't think that's worth it. Traffic crab one. Traffic crab two. No wait, traffic crab one twice. Yeah, the fact that we can't use like our powerful abilities straight out of the gate, we're gonna struggle with these forms. Uh, Sonic Boom. Very nice, big, big damage. Yes, okay, that worked out very well. Oh yeah, absolutely struggling right now. Can I use invent? Can I use stuff while in? Yeah, inventory. Can I use? Rewind. Fully restore the HP of one tape. Use up a turn in combat. Can I just use it now? Yeah, I can. Okay, there we go. Back up and running. What's this switch do? Oh, it tracks the lamp. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Take these. Ah, oh, yay! Basic tape. It records monsters' forms with a normal efficiency rate. Uh, something about the monster or the monsters on new viral. Uh, when weakened, the essence can be well recorded to cassette tapes. We don't entirely know how it works, but it does, and that's good enough for us. Okay. So you want to weaken Dominoff. Oh, I thought we had to weaken it first. Use. 
Uh, I guess we'll get you to just spit on it. Okay. 100% chance. Oh, we got it. Hey, Dominoff. The Dominoffs uh, see themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodlands area, woodland areas. The only thing that can distract them from their noble duties are bright lights such as lamps. Amazing. Uh, whether a recording succeeds or not is down to chance. However, several factors affect the possibility of success. How much health the monster has, its level of rarity, how much damage you dealt it while recording, and how much damage the person recording it took. Buffing your attacks or debuffing the target's defenses can be an effective way to increase the damage you deal with the target and improve your odds in your favour. As long as the monster is being recorded, it cannot flee or be defeated, so you don't need to worry about knocking it out. That's good! That's a good system. That's better than Pokemon. Uh, the moves you have access to when using a tape in battle are determined by what stickers are attached to the tape. Uh, you can give new moves to a tape by applying stickers from your inventory. Moves you don't want can be peeled as stickers and put in your inventory. That is also very cool. Stickers can be used as many times as you want, but can only be applied to a single tape at a time. Stickers can be obtained in a few ways. By filling tapes, experience point bars from chests or caches you find from certain merchants in Harbour Town. So view stickers. Ah, oh, so these are the stickers here, these abilities. A race user use speed and a melee attack. Cool. Uh, we won't rename. I'm happy with I'm happy with the name. Now try switching to the tape you just recorded. Okay. Dominoff, off. Transform. And then you're just gonna power 60. Yeah, we might as well just use it because it's the best ability you've got. That's how you get yourself new monster forms. However, if a monster takes too much damage, it'll flee, so you won't be able to record it. You with me so far? Now let's finish this bug off. Very nice. Ooh, minus 20, but we're okay, because we're gonna just smack him. And we'll just smack him again. Cool, easy. Uh, Zephyr, ranged attack, hits one target. It's a good deal of damage as well, actually. 60, and I can use it every turn. That's huge. Oh, hello. <laughs> What's happening? Some of forms give us extra abilities when we record them, beyond just being able to take their shapes. Don't panic. Ah, Mothwing Glide. You can now hold A to glide across short distances. This consumes stamina. Very cool. Sorry. Sorry, I should have probably have warned you, but I thought it might be a little easier to show you. Uh, you can use this to glide across that gap right there. Fantastic, thank you. Oh yeah, crab, you want to bring some? Yeah, all right. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I wasn't the one I wanted to be. Oh, how do I choose which one is my priority? All right, we don't want to waste a turn on that yet. I'm going to see what that does on, yeah, how much that, how good that does. Sharpen, melee attack up. Our creatures are leveling up as well, so we are actually naturally doing more damage. Okay, give us like, what is that, 5% more? No, 10, no, 20%, that increased my damage by 20%. How do I change my order of creatures? Party. Can I swap tape with that please? Yeah, cool. Because he's got a nice, really powerful, like, early ability. Cool. <gasps> that is a very cool tiger creature. What's this? Ah, okay, it's so a way we can get back up here without having to go that whole way. Oh no. Uh, what's going on? If this is because of monster activity, we better stay sharp. Let's go. Hello, crab. <gasps> oh, Dandy Lion. I love it. I love the names. It's so good. Uh, so I would like to try and record. Let's take out the traffic cab first, then I'll start uh, attacking Dandy Lion. So we now have Zephyr, which hits one target for 60, which I think is really huge. And then if I do that, we should be able to... Okay, she's got really fast. Wait, she's bit twice? 
Walls absorb a certain amount of uh, incoming hits. Type advantage attacks immediately break walls. Nice. Okay, so he's gone straight out. Okay. Uh, range attack on him. And we'll just do low level attacks because... Okay, so yeah, it doesn't matter what we do. That's, that wall is going to take that many hits. Okay, cool. Right, now we want to record. Yes. Use on the dandelion. Also, I, I forgot I need the... I haven't got the crab either. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, let's do the sonic boom. Twenty-five percent chance. Ooh. Uh, air type attacks can uproot plant type of targets, disconnecting them from the source of their nutrients. The ground characters AP drain gain one fewer AP each round. Okay, that's really cool. Do it again. Yay! Okay, cool. Dandelions are loyal defensive guardians. They're typically found standing at the entrances to important caves in the grassy plains of New Wirral. If you find one with no cave nearby, it may be a hint that something is hidden. Ah, oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, awesome. So, pl so wind types are good against these, uh, back against plant types. And I guess wind are the stickers. God, he's got a lot of AP drain, hasn't he? But he's gone. Hey, that was some lots of level ups. So, a tamed wallop. Ah, it's a melee attack, so it's a big circle square symbol instead. Um, so, that's a big hit as well. Very nice. Now they've got provoke. It's like a poison effect. Prevents opponents from directly targeting the user's allies for three turns. Oh, that's very good. So you can use like a taunt. Bite. Uh, hits one target. Heals the user a little bit afterwards. That's kind of good. Uh, elemental wall. Sacrifice 10% of HP to create a wall that will absorb. Uh, so that's what we just got. Yep, cool. And a bunch of plastic. Cool. So far, so having fun. I think there might be a boss around this corner. Okay, you felt the one, right? <gasps> um, what? what is that? What was that always here? Uh, this isn't normal. I've never seen anything like this before. Has this always been buried here? Okay. Um, do I want to go in there? I feel like I'm taking some hits. They said these guys defend caves, and if the if there's no cave around, then maybe there's a secret. I would like to get the traffic crab. Maybe we'll just get the traffic crab quickly while it's here. Oh, we can get the spider, the snake as well. Okay, let's have a look what we've got. So we got... Oh, interesting. Wallop's not showing as a... Okay. Carnivipa. Like carnivore, I see. Right, let's go for traffic for crab. Um, I'm going to call for help, see if I've not done that yet. Oh, it worked. Oh, that's a different thing. That's not the, the same as the lion. Very nice. Okay, uh, so now we can go to record. Basic tape. Use on traffic crab. We'll have her spit on Carna Viper. 55% chance. Oh, fuck. She's been knocked out. Poison characters take damage at the end of their turn. Oh, I was hoping he was going to go for the traffic crab. Okay, that's a shame. He's gone straight away. Oh, but that apparently did some damage. 72% chance. Did it again? I did get him. Okay, cool. That's right then. Uh, the traffic crab's cone uh, isn't actually part of its body. It is merely a traffic cone that was washed up in the shores of New Wirral and been occasionally occupied by the creature. It is said that in its past they would f instead find objects to live inside. Okay. Oh, we've still got a Vita, haven't we? Oh, I've got to choose what she takes on. So, okay, so she can also take any of the characters. Ah, I didn't think of that. Right, uh, there's no point 
because I can't beat, I don't know what I need to beat plastic, but it's certainly not anything I've got. Um, which will just smack for now. Wait, did I choose? Um, landing a plastic type attack on a fire type target releases black smoke that can hide the position of the target. So plastic type is like the recycled symbol. I'm really confused about the types. Well, we really benefited from that guy coming to help us. Um, elemental wall. Yep, okay, we've got another elemental wall. We've got a lot of elemental walls. Okay. So the character she currently takes on is, yeah, she's going to need to, we'll swap that take with, with her. Okay, so the creatures don't level up, by the looks. Well, they, they do, but they, they, we just get more skills for them. It's us that levels up. And I guess that helps them. Got two more tapes. Might rewind uh, Serenade. Oh, we can't because the tape's broken. Tape needs actual repairs. Should have done that before we went to the combat. That's right. I might just save. I just saw save there. I wonder if it's not got auto saving. Okay, cool. Just do that. So there's another character we don't have. Oh, two characters we don't have. Right, okay. Uh, we can only hit one target at the moment, which is very annoying. Uh... Down, down, is that saying less damage on that? Is that because it's fire and I'm wind? Maybe that's how that works. And that's up because of... I don't know what that symbol means. I don't want to kill the spring heal, so I won't. Oh, God. Air wall. Landing a fire type attack on an air type target creates an updraft. An air wall that can absorb a number of oncoming. So, so you don't want to right. Okay, so you don't want to hit. Right. Okay. Big hit on the spring heel. Landing a plant plant type attack on fire type target releases black smoke that can hide the position. Right. So that's what that did. Right. Okay. So green is good for them. Red is bad. I guess that's that was my mistake. Right. I would like to record spring heel, please. You, could you please smack the spring heel? Because I can't kill it. Cool. Uh, plant types are easily burned. Yeah, that makes sense. 72% chance. Pretty good. Yeah, got him. Nice. Cool, got the spring heel. Spring heels get their kicks by hiding behind corners under the cover of night before leaping out and surprise their victims. It appears that they make their wings out of old discarded rags. Very interesting. Thank you for that. Cool. So I can take these stickers off. Is that what you... Can I take them off? I can click them, but I guess I can't take them off yet. There is another way to do that. Um, right, I do want to get the other one now, so... Oh, so that's going to create an updraft. Is that what that's saying that's going to do? Right, I might put an elemental wall on Kaylee, I think. Oh, okay, healed. <sighs> yeah, I might need to get Kaylee to spot, actually. Oh, no, I missed. Of course, because I made the evasion up, didn't I? Yeah, another tape broken. Um, Let's put the spring hill up. Alright, I've done a terrible job of this thus far. Yes, the range is down because he's got the weird evasion thing going. So let's just get the spring hill done. Uh, Peekaboo. Yeah, we'll just try and hit the pom, pom bomb. Nope, yeah, his evasion's too high. Oh, the burning stays. I didn't clock that. Right, spring hill's gone. 
good. Um, I just want to weaken it a bit. I don't want to kill it. Cool. Man, I really don't like Kaylee for some reason. <laughs> oh, air type attacks blow out fire type targets, reducing the strength of their future attacks. Okay, so that's what that meant. Right, okay, so we do want red because it means it's, it's a bad thing to th on the enemy. And then I guess we'll just smack you. Only 38% chance. Has no health right now, but it can't die. Why is that so low? Is it quite a powerful creature? No, we got it anyway. Cool. That's right then. <laughs> oh, look at their face. <laughs> Pom bombs are universally considered to be one of the friendliest creatures on New World. If it weren't for their habitats of uh, habits of accidentally setting anything and everything on fire, they would make quite good pets. Fantastic. Love it. Uh, what are your abilities? Spit. Extends the duration target status effects. Ooh. Sticky Dung hits one target, lowers the target's evasion. Okay, that's he's very good. When your party is full, tapes you recorder, put it in a special storage compartment in your backpack. These tapes can be accessed and moved to from your party when you're sat at campfires or in the cafe. Ty tapes in storage that you don't want anymore can be recycled for resources and stickers. Pom Pom was put in storage. Okay. Those like wind effects and stuff, I really need to pay more attention to. Jump scare, chance to target to flinch. That would be very good. Yes. Okay. Right. I absolutely cannot go further now. I need a, I need a thingy. I need the campfire. Well, there's so many creatures, aren't there? It's crazy. Don't attack me, crabs. I just want safety. Yes, camp here, please. Rest. Remove your inventory wood times four. You and Kelly casually, casually discuss the mysteries of New Rural. Uh, your broken tips have been repaired. Okay, let's look at our tape storage then. So we've got Pom Bom. He's strong. I like him. So we need, we need Pom Bom in our kit. So what do we... So we've got Wind, plant, normal. I think that's the symbol. Is that normal? Check tape. He's a beast, right? So there's a beast. Check tape. That is air. Check tape. That's plant. That's plastic. Right, so we got beast, two wind, two beast, uh, one plastic, and one plant. And then we've got one fire, which we'll want. I keep thinking Dandelion was fire, but it's not, is it? So who can we get rid of? Well, I don't think I need the Spring Hill, actually. He's not as good as I thought. So if I put him in storage, I can then get the fire out instead. Yeah, add to party. He's got a lot of beast attacks, though. What attacks does he have oh they're all beast and they're much better yeah cool right Mansheep might actually not be a does Mansheep have any good like straight out the gate attacks though no see they all require um more than two straight out the gate so that's what that's my problem with Mansheep is um same with Serenade as well I think the only call for help is the only early one they can throw out Whereas I love, uh, oh no, I don't want to check me, so I want to check my tape. Whereas I love his Zephyr, his Zephyr and Wallet, both plus 60s that I can just f like flap out and just splat them with. Uh, I don't think I need Dandelion though, I want to level Dandelion up more. I might take Pom Bomb, very low level, but the fact that it was difficult to capture makes me think he might be really strong. And Fire type might be cool, so let me, uh, let me swap tape, let's give those two out. Yeah, because you don't need two airs right out of the gate. So air and fire, I think, is quite nice. I quite like that. Um, now, what I do want to do, though, is I would like to see if I can... Bestiary. Okay. I hope there's I hope there's evolving in this game, because that's my favourite thing in Pokemon, and if they don't have that, that makes me sad. 
Um, how do I? I want the tutorial stuff. Is local multiplayer? Okay, that's kind of cool. I have to see how that works. Um, not obviously in this episode, in this video. Ranger handbook, read. Okay, so oh, that's how you get the tutorial. I mean, I clicked too early. Um, stickers and moves, tape storage, recording tapes. No, I don't want any of those. I want the I want the effects to happen when they get hit. Oh, hello. That's what I wanted. Yes. Amazing. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. This, this is... Look at all the different effects of it. So beast, air, astral, earth, fire, ice, lightning, metal, plant, plastic, poison, water. Jesus, that's a lot. And glitter it looks... What, what's glitter? Glitter just gives everything a glitter coating. That's amazing. Okay, so... Beasts are completely neutral and they're... They're not good at anything except for breaking glass. Air are... Air help astral. And they help lightning, but they damage fire and they damage plants. Um, okay. God, this is a, this is a lot. This is a lot to pay attention to. What's yellow? Just a transmutation. Not necessarily good, not necessarily bad. I don't know. Anyway, right. Okay, cool. That's kind of what I was looking for, but I don't want to read that much. That's far too complicated. I guess it, I guess we don't need to know exactly what they do because it gives you a mouse over when you mouse over it. But you just can't... Um, I struggle because you get whatever you've chosen as your... You get whatever you get from what your chosen characters are. And you can't, like, adjust. Like, it'd be nice if, if you go into combat, you get an option straight up first. That um, says, like, which one do you want to turn into? Is this a train station? It should be okay to take a look around, right? Are we in a dungeon or are we just going to get into random encounters? Do, do, do. Well, that door is locked. Bum, bum, bum. This place smells like burning metal. I can't explain it. Can I come through here? Half expect them to be poke them to be uh, creatures then. Oh, a chest! Hey, hypnotize an astral thing. Give the target sleep status for three turns. Can I put that on the sheep? I really want to put that on the sheep. We might be able to learn it though. It feels like the type of thing that the the sheep could learn anyway. Check tape. Can I edit stickers? Apply a sticker. Not compatible. Okay. So, so does the type have to match then? Interesting. Okay. Maybe he can already learn it. Oh. Squirrel, can you feel something in the air? Oh, hello. Um. Is that you, Maud Reed? Come closer, child, so that I may see you one last time. This is... This is... The long conflict has drawn to an end, and I am afraid he has defeated me truly this time. Squirrel, I think this is an archangel. Archangel, we need to leave now. This isn't like the other monsters. We're not safe here. Who are you? No, no, you are not my kin. You come for me once again, sword in hand. Oh, no. Oh, it's a boss battle. Oh, my God, look at this. It's a corrupted tape. Archangel Morganite something, something, something. Okay, um, zero <laughs> percent. Not surprising. All right, I don't know what's going to be good against you, Morganite. So we're just going to wallop you with a ranged attack. Let's go, and I'm going to lower your evasion. Nice. Oh, status blocks. That's sad. Discordant thrash. Okay, apparently missed. Fantastic. Um, are these things good, do we reckon? So is it blocked, doesn't it just cut out those cuts? Things can't affect it. And is this creature glass, do we think? Because that's given it supposedly... Oh, no, that's just the effect of it, isn't it? To reduce its evasion. Yeah, it looks like it's going to say no to the... Uh... 
Oh. Unlike other monsters that spend AP to use moves, Arcane Jewels accumulate all their AP until it reaches 10. Once Arca Arcane reaches 10 AP, it unleashes all that power at once in its unique angelic attack. To survive, use it once strategically to either set up a solid defense in preparation or defeat the Archangel before it gets enough AP. Right, okay. I've upped my speed, but I don't know if that's necessarily useful now. Um, let's transform into the Banshee. You need to switch because you're just going to lose anyway. Let's get you into Serenade. Oh, I'm not going to die here. Not like this. Do you hear me, Squirrel? This, is, uh, this isn't the end for us. It can't be. I refuse. Um, what is she doing? We're going to fight this thing and we're going to do it together. Squirrel and Kylie's hearts act as one. Oh my god, we've morphed into... Oh, there's morphing. There's fusion. Oh, that's so good. When your goals are aligned with those of your companion, you can fuse to become a singular, more powerful beast. The closer you are to your companion, the more powerful you are as a fusion. Keep an eye on your fusion meter, though. It, you can only fuse when it is full. As a fusion, you gain 4 AP each turn instead of 2, allowing you to make use of more powerful moves sooner. You also have access to all the moves of both tapes combined, and your stats are added together. Right. I wonder if Call for Help would be worth it. Um, battering Ram, I suppose. Probably, it's my most powerful. That'll bite. Oh, bite for healing. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. So, did we only morph because I went back to our original characters, or are we just lucky? Oh, okay. We need to um, defend or something. Uh, uses evasion is pa uh, passively raised in proportion to the amount of HP. Oh, I forgot I had that. I guess we'll just lower its accuracy again and just hope for the best. I oh, know because the statuses were blocked, weren't they? So we need to just dodge, I think. Oh yeah, it did not, did not at all block that. Okay, cool. Right, let's go for bite. We healed a little bit. We've got our evasion up. Fantastic. Let's do another bite. Thank God she's a. Oh shit. Oh, we still made it though. What's my biggest powerful. Oh, bite is actually more powerful than all the rest of my abilities. Thank God she was already injured when we fought her. Oh, we did it. Hey. Not as many level ups as I'd hoped, but Taunts uh, sends the target Berserk, forcing it to use only damaging moves for its next two turns. Okay. Gives the target Leeched status for three turns. What does that mean? I'm assuming health. Inflame hits one target. Fantastic. Fusion material. It smells strongly of rotten eggs, but rangers seem to regard it as valuable. Up grape. A curious bunch of upside down grapes uh, said to grow from seeds planted on backwards day. Eating a bunch instantly upgrades a tape by one star. Wheat, metal, plastic pulp. How did we... Well, it was really injured. I don't know. Your stamina increased by 20%. 20%? You can now glide for three seconds. Enough! Enough! My time is drawing to an end. Why have you come to this wretched place? Um, I went off this island. I see. There is a way. There are no one who... There are none who know the path but I. I require a vessel and you require a guide. Rebuild my strength and in turn I shall lead you from this land. Vessel? Very well, hear my song. I didn't have a tape. I don't have a tape to record you, I'm afraid. If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. You must rise to the task at hand, you must walk the path most long. The rest of the song is too quiet to make out. Oh, well that's not very useful, is it? <sighs> Screw, are you okay? What happened? You blanked out for a second there. We should get you out of here. Oh, we're in the cafe. Hmm. A lot happened at the train station. I guess we should probably talk about it. Um, about the Archangel? Archangels. Archangels. Supposedly, when they, when the first unlucky sods washed up on the shores of New Wyrall, they thought the monsters here were angels, and and some of them wrote of other entities too, greater than the others, creatures that looked and feel wrong. 
Logically, they call these other creatures Archangels, the highest ranking among the Order of Angels. Of course, when people learned they could fight and defeat the regular monsters, they lost their angelic well. lure. They've had a bunch of names over the years, angels, demons, devils, ghouls. We just call them monsters now. It's a good catch-all term. Now, the other creatures, though, like the one we fought, they're still archangels to us. We don't know what they are. No one has really seen one for a long time. Looking at that thing we thought, fought, it's hard to explain. It felt like I wasn't viewing it correctly, like trying to watch a movie through binoculars or something. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I'm making some assumptions there. We're all from different worlds, after all. <laughs> you might not know what movies are. Um... Or the movies, just kidding. Um, I've seen plenty of movies. Phew. Okay, grand. I've been in New Wirral for three years and I've still not completely learned to adjust my cultural references when I talk to new folks. Uh, about us fusing. Oh, well, yeah, that fusion is a rare phenomenon known by the rangers. Uh, there are fused monsters in the wild and supposedly these other rangers can do it too. In the right circumstances, two people in monster form can be able to unite and form one powerful being. I guess the right circumstances include nearly being killed by an archangel. It felt strange. In that moment, I was sharing a body with you, and the thing we became was both of us, and not us at the same time. I've never fused with anyone before. I certainly wasn't expecting to fuse with someone I barely know. It just kind of happened in the heat of the moment, right? Sorry. Talking about this is a little awkward. Um, we wouldn't have survived without it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Now that we've done it, I have this weird feeling inside me, like a door has been opened that I didn't even know was there before. I felt like I'd be able to fuse with you again if we ever needed to. So, let me get this straight. The Archangel Morganite, her memory is inside you now, and she knows a way to leave the new Wirral. Um, if there is ever a chance that this could lead uh, to a way off this island and return people to their homes and their families, we owe it to everyone on New Wirral to you find out. I. You and I. What do you say? Are we in this together? Let's do this. Hey! We're at relationship is level one. Fusion is now available in regular battles and partners with Kaylee. Fusions you form with Kaylee have a plus five percent added strength. Fantastic. Building relationships with your friends is uh, really important. The strength of your relationship uh, directly affects how strong you are when fused together. You can clo uh, get close to someone by completing their quests and by battling alongside them. When the time is right, you can br uh, take a break at a campfire or in the cafe to level up your relationship. If an archangel gave you that vision, then you need to find another one and you need to be strong enough to stand against it when you do. Okay. Uh, locate Archangels to commit Morganite, Morganite song, then follow the clues to contain the okay. Awesome. The Rangers have a training program that will help you strong, uh, become strong enough. Let's begin by getting you a meeting with a Ranger leader. She'll, uh, she'll be at the outpost in the park right about now. Okay. Uh, I mean, I might as well rest. I don't think we had any broken tapes, but they're all now healed anyway. Uh, let's have a look at our party. There's still only three stars on our guys at the moment, but that's okay. Uh, tape storage, we just have Spring Hill. Uh, inventory, we don't have anything, do we? We've got Hypnotize, but I don't know how I can put that on. And we got that, which we could throw on something, but I don't think that's worth it either. I could talk to people, but I don't want to, so I'm not going to. Do you sell something interesting? Bonjour. Uh, bonjour. It's not too often we get new faces in here, especially not one as handsome as your own. I am Clemence, and this fine establishment is the Gramophone Cafe. What can I say? I own many records, and I brew the best coffee. Not that there is much competition. Please feel free to ask me any questions. I'm in no rush. What's on the menu? Uh, rewind rest pool. Fixes and rewinds a broken tape. Use, uh, use up a turn. Okay. Canned ice latte. Perfusi. Basic tape. I need those. Uh, reodorant. A spray of unisex perspirant anti -deodorant. The label says it makes you smell strong enough to repel monsters for one minute. Okay. Classic. Right. We want tape, so we're going to buy uh, five tapes, I guess. Yes, please. Hopefully, I haven't been ripped off. Anything interesting here? A letterbox. How strange. Uh, yes. It's empty. Alright, I don't have a code. I guess, is that how like you hop in, do multiplayer with friends? Hey! Oh god, angry guy. Don't make me tell you again! Harbour Town won't fall to your bloodsuckers! So unreasonable. So unreasonable. <sighs> Crawl back to you the darkness you came from, or you'll have to go through me. I fought your kind before and won. You don't want a demonstration. We shall leave for now, but in time you shall understand that we know what is best for you all. Yeah. Tell the rest of your kind that this town is protected by Eugene. 
Okay, is he gonna be a new friend we can join? Let me know if those creeps bother you again, ma'am. And what you don't, uh, and whatever you do, don't invite them into your house. <laughs> That's what they want. Thank you. I will keep that in mind. Thank you for intervening, young man. Hi, hey. Eugene. Oh, hey, sorry you had to see that. Eugene. Name's Eugene, which I guess you know, because I just yelled at those guys. I'm Squirrel. Uh, always nice to meet a few face around here, Squirrel. Uh, who are those people? I won't trouble you with the details, but they don't belong in this world. Let's just say that not all the monsters in New Wirral look like serial mascots. <laughs> anyway, i got to stake out those guys. Ah, see what we did there? got to stake out those guys. Can't risk them sinking their teeth into the good people of Harbour Town. Can I help? If you're willing to get your hands dirty, I'll be glad of your, of your assistance. Uh, meet me at this location. I'll give you a full lowdown when you're there. Okay, plan made. Just prepare yourself for a throwdown. Things might get kind of ugly. All right, let's do it. I need no other invitation. Oh, this person has an exclamation mark. What do you want? Hey. Hey, any chance you could lend me a hand? Uh, you see, I told Lanth I'd put up a town sign here. Something that could make this place a little more cozy, you know? Only I've miscalculated how much wood it would take. Any chance you could source me some spare wood? Uh, sure, how much do you need? Really, thanks. Come say hi when you've got the materials. Whoa! Okay, 300 wood. I was like, yeah, maybe I can give him like 10 wood or something. How much wood do I have? Uh... Two. I have two wood. All right. I'm, yep. That's it's not something I'm ready for. All right. Can I open this? I can. Well, that's, that's a hundred wood. Look at that. Aren't we in a good place already? Well, there's a place I've not been over here. And it is a wall. I'm guessing I can't walk around it. No, don't be silly. Don't be silly. Of course not. Oh, sorry, man. You sort of blocked me there. Oh, they're only level one. Um, so fusion. There's my little fusion bar. But I'm a mile, while off that. Um, I just, I just want to whack one of you. And then I want to whack another one. Oh, yes, yeah, so that poisons. So fire and. Fire and plastic poisons them. A melting plastic type monster with a fire type of noxious fumes, changing it to a poison type. Oh! Coatings change the elemental type of a character for a certain number of turns. That's very cool. I love that interaction. That's such a fun idea. And it's even changed colour now. It's Oh, and it's poisoned me. So I've actually made it worse. Okay, that was a bad thing to do. But it's good to know for future reference. What does fire and poison do? I just ignited it. That's fine. Okay. That's a shame I'm poisoned. But I've leveled up. And our fusion bar is building. Oh, we've got a new thing. Inflame. Hey! So the crab has fire attacks. But the crab's plastic. Interesting. I'm not, still not sure how that works. Right, so the way I went doesn't work. We can't get around here. We have to go through here first. Doo -doo -doo. He wants me to meet him over... The... Wait, where does he want me to meet him? I don't know. We'll just explore and I guess we'll find him, I suppose. Pretty sure he wants us to meet him somewhere on the... Somewhere on the map. Let's keep going this way for now. Do a bit of exploring. We don't have long left in the video. What's this? Oh, there he is. Okay. Apparently cannot interact with that. Fantastic. Well, we've seen him at least. Anything of interest down here? Uh, there's a crate. There's a crab. Oh, there's some plastic. Nice, I'll just take that as I'm here. You don't want any of this, mate. You don't want any of it. Alright, clearly he does. Um, I guess I'll just... Wallop him. I don't want to turn him into a poison. That's probably not a good thing. 
so we'll just go for that. Nice. Oh, I didn't want him to get an attack off. He's dead at least. Very dead as well. Rude. Turns him into a poison. Yeah, I got him. Nice. God, it's going to take everything. It's ages to level up. Do, do, do. I like that she can just like do whatever she needs to do to catch up. Oh, there's a whole other world over there. Oh my god, look at this place. Brand new creatures. Oh god, okay. Oh, this might have been a mistake. Metal. What do we think would be good against metal? Alright, air doesn't seem to matter. You can see these things. Do I, I don't have the Viper, do I? So I do need to get the Viper. Melted. Metal types can be melted fire types, which cause lasting damage to the target. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Oh, it hits both. Oh, very nice. Yes, I would like to record the snake, please. Use on Carna Viper. This one, I would like you to lower that character's accuracy. That's oh, only 51%, damn it. Oh no, it lowers its evasion. Didn't read it. Oh, only a 41% chance. Oh, I got him anyway. Yeah. Oh, it's quite a sweet sticker. The stickers, stickers are really nice. Despite its grinning visage, the kind of viper isn't actually a friendly creature. It is very territorial and will attack anyone who approaches uh, that it deems a threat, which tends to be everything and everyone. Fantastic. Uh, we will wallop kind of viper. And we will... Sending the things on that creature would make sense if it wasn't the fact that I need to do a lot more damage. Oh, that was a lot. Fire type targets can burn excess poison left over from poison type attacks as fuel, empowering them. Nice. Oh, we're still alive though. Oh, I should have captured. I forgot I could capture the other one, couldn't I, as well? Ah, well. Elemental wall. Uncommon. Oh, that is time. Interesting. Uncommon. Uh, so it's an upgraded version. Sacrifice 20% of HP to create a wall that will absorb up to three hits for up to three turns. Okay. Oh, it's because we've gone to level four now. Ah, the Banshee's now level four. The Banshee. Which is a very cool name, by the way. I don't know what that switch is, but it's just a thing. Is this like a metal then that I can pick up? No, it's just stuff off of the beach. Right. Can I get... Oh, I can go up there. Nice. I don't feel like I'm just sort of... Oh. Right. I've been having my monster skills out here for months now. Come, let me show you my results of my training. Oh, I wasn't ready for this. Oh, we're not in a ready... F we're not in a good place for this. Um, I guess we'll just wallop him and we'll just inflame both of them are very likely to go here oh actually down uh, didn't matter though did it uh, uh, spit that should be enough oh she switched a shame. Uh, okay. She is now going to be the ban sheep. P 
poison. I can't remember what's good against poison. Elemental wall, plus one duration. I wonder why I've gotten that. Battering ram. Oh, it's gone. Ow. Ow, ow. Jesus, why did that hit me so many times? Uh, I don't have any. F I guess I think he's got some fire type moves. Uh, oh, he's got an upgraded stat. That's kind of cool. Inflame. There we go. That's what we want. And then we will battle around whatever comes out because there's a good chance. Stop having any extra turns, you bastard. Nice. Oh, we beat him. Cool. Awesome. Uh, zoomies. <laughs> it's one target, takes priority over other moves. Ah, oh, so it's like a really quick like little like slap. That's awesome. I guess I still have a lot of training to do. You certainly do, mate. You certainly do. Alright, what's in this thing over here? I can't open it. Is it a key or something? Right, cool. Anyway, I gotta stop because the the I was already in. Um, yeah, so that is Cassette Beasts. Um, yeah, I really like it, honestly. Oh, actually, before I get into my closing comments, does the... Do the fusions sit anywhere? Oh, no, they're there. They're just, they're just there. Formed by a fusion of Bansheep and Serenade. Formed one time. God. Oh my god. Scene one of 14,400. Oh my god, that's so cool. I can't believe they've got so many different combinations. That is, oh, that's something to get excited about. And that is an, is an upgrade, isn't it? Same colors. So there are, there are upgrades, potentially. Record this monster. So maybe at level t at level five, maybe they they evolve. Oh, you can view them on the map. Oh, that's kind of cool. Show you where you can find them. Oh man, I need to play a whole lot of this game. This is I I, I want to get into a Pokemon game, but I like. Oh, you can make them sing. Maybe I don't know. Oh, I love that. I love. It. I'm I'm really happy about this. Really excited. Cool. I didn't know if there was going to be evolutions because we hadn't had one yet, but there's uh, a lot still to have. Although, that being said, maybe there's only one additional form? Because it's spring here and then one additional form. One we haven't found, one additional form. One we haven't found... No, that doesn't make sense either. So maybe they don't all have evolved forms? Or maybe they're... Because those clearly are the same. One's all about wearing a carnival mask, and the other one is literally called a mask, and then it's a snake. So those definitely are. So maybe they're just, it's, it's an irregular amount, which I always made me sad. I hated that in Pokemon, where some got, like, two evolutions and some got none. But there's no way that these, unless Serenade is already an evolved form of an earlier creature. Maybe Bansheep as well, then. Maybe there's a lamb version. That would make sense. Um, potentially. And then Dyandeline is the youngest of a... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm worrying. Um, yeah, it's 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 Pokemon, but it's fun. Uh, not say so Pokemon isn't fun, but it's it's, it's different, um, but the same also. I like the health carryover mechanic. I think that's fun. The idea of that, you know, well, if you don't deal with your Pokemon or your creatures um, efficiently, then you're going to get uh, damage that's going to actually cause you bigger problems. Um... I think navigating the world map's a bit slow. Does it need to be how it is? Uh, I don't know. Um, it's, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Uh, the items are... Haven't really needed the use of them yet. I think the fusion's really cool, though. I think that's awesome. The idea that there's just so many different combinations is amazing. Um, the relationship thing. I feel like a lot of games are doing the relationship thing now. Do I think it's necessary? Eh, probably not. But um, depending on its bonuses and stuff, I like it if it upgrades it to the point where you can get fusion off every battle. 
because that would be huge, especially as I want to see all the different combinations. I mean, that's just what I want to see. I want to see different combinations. I love, I've always loved like upgrades or evolutions. I love the fusions. I think that's a fun idea. It's just, yeah, it's just, it's got some really good concepts here. Um, the art's really fun. Um, I love how they've taken the theme of like tapes and, and they've really run with it. I think that's really cool. Um, I like the mystery of it. Um, I like how much of the map we've explored, but also how much there is left to explore. I think that's cool. It's got local multiplayer drop in, drop out. So I wonder what that's about. I wonder if that's uh, someone else can play as your other companion. Um, and that being the case, you do only get one other companion, which makes sense. I guess following the Pokemon rule of having six Pokemon in this case, you've got, you know, six uh, cassette beasts and two at a time which uh, I guess it makes it interesting for like combos and stuff. Um, I really like, how have I not mentioned that yet? I really like that different abilities have different effects on different creatures, like, and they've not, but they've not done it like the standard way, like, oh, if you've got fire, it's super effective against plant. It is, but it, there's, a, there's a level of it above that where if you're weak to something, you can actually give them a boon or a boost or things like that. I think that's really cool. Um, I just wish you could choose who you were rolling out with to begin with. Like, I think that would be better. So you go straight into it. It's like, oh, you've got a viper and a thing. It's like, cool, right. Well, I'll start with my, you know, my, my water type or whatever it is, you know. Um, yeah, but I thought that was really, really cool. Honestly, really, really enjoyed that one. Um, now I've got to find time to play it. Oh, I have too many games. God damn you, Game Pass. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm offering now. So thank you ever so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Jog and screw it out.